Hey guys, Tim here. Welcome back to another video. And today I have for you guys a review of a very popular fresh fragrance from Chanel. And this one is no other than <sighs> Blur Chanel Eau de Parfum version. Getting right into the fragrance, what I get out of this one is a lot of grapefruit and incense at the opening with a vetiver like dry down. Besides from that, I also get this fresh and clean out of the shower like vibe that lasts throughout the life of the fragrance and that to me that's that's about it for the scent it's not a really complicated scent it's simple and it's really self-explanatory but in my opinion it does smell quite nice although it's not a scent that i personally fall in love with it definitely gets the job done when you want it to whether it's to get compliments or maybe to impress a girl or maybe just simply smell nice throughout the day this will work amazingly for you and that's something that I can definitely respect. Now when I was testing this, I kind of already knew that anyone who smelled this one off me would most likely like it and just knowing that fact really boosts my confidence throughout the day and it honestly felt really really awesome to wear this fragrance because when you feel confident throughout the day, you just have a better day in general and I definitely had a really good day when I was wearing this one. It garners a good amount of compliments from the people around me, mostly comments like, you smell nice, but there are a couple girls that have said this smells very sexy off me. Overall, I just think this is a very hard scent not to like because it smells very clean and very manly. So you can be sure that whenever you wear this, the people around you, the majority of them, will find this one very enjoyable because to be completely honest, I just think it's really hard to say a scent that smells like fresh out of the shower smells bad unless you really don't like showers, but that's a different story. Longevity, I get about five to six hours out of this fragrance, which is about one to two hours of pretty good projection. The scent really lingers in the air and you'll definitely get noticed for the first one to two hours. After that, it kind of sits not a skin scent quite yet, but it sits around you, like around, like in like a little small bubble around your head for uh, at least another hour before becoming like a flat skin scent, maybe at around the four hour mark. Overall, not the best performing fragrance in the world, but it definitely gets the job done. And if you want this thing to last throughout the workday, I say get a travel atomizer and reapply midway through and it should last you the rest of the day after that. But other than that, it's just what it is. It's not gonna last you the whole day. Which is, which is really, really sad, but what can we do? For occasion, this is an all occasion. Anytime is a good time to wear this scent type of fragrance. It works really well for the office and in a suit because it smells really clean and inoffensive. And for a date, it works really well as well because it's just super manly. And when a girl smells a really clean smelling guy, manly clean smelling guy, it's really hard for her not to enjoy that smell. Especially if you have the well-groomed look to go with the fresh and clean vibe of this fragrance, she'll definitely love it and your attractiveness will boost through the roof. Now for indoor or outdoor, it doesn't really matter because the projection of this fragrance is good enough for both scenarios and for season, I say any season at all, besides the colder season, the winter season, because the performance of this thing, it just won't do in the cold. But if you mainly wear this in the office or anywhere indoors, this isn't all year round. But for outdoors, just not in the cold, guys. Lastly, we have price point, And this is definitely on the more expensive side of designer fragrances. For a 50 ml, this will run you around $90. For a 100 ml, around 115. And for the biggest size, the 150 ml, this would run you $150. But that is kind of to be expected from Chanel. They never really have sales. So if you're gonna buy a fragrance from Chanel, you're gonna have to deal with paying close to or even at the retail price. But now for the big question, is it worth it? Well, in my opinion, if you're looking for a very versatile fragrance that works in all occasion, all season, and that also smells sexy, and you don't have one that works like that for you yet, this is, a def this is definitely a good grab, especially the 100 ml. I don't think the 50 ml is worth grabbing because for the amount of use that you'll be getting out of this one, that 50 ml will run out so fast. And to get 100 ml, it's just $25 more. Why run out of 50 ml and spend $90 for refill when you can spend an extra 25 to get 
the same amount so yeah guys if you are gonna buy this one i highly recommend you get the 100 ml and not the 50 because like i said it's just a lot cheaper in the long run and if this is gonna be your only versatile fragrance trust me you're gonna be wearing this one quite a lot and you're gonna need that 100 ml for sure all right guys that's it for my review of blur chanel all the profound let me know down below what you think of this fragrance and as always don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't i really really appreciate that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boy!